Hollywood. Pete Elmer, Pete, tell our listening audience who you are, what you've been in, and so forth. Well, first of all, we're here for the Godfather, Amen. And uh, Michael Francis, whose father was Sonny Francis. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm more into Maria Del Rey now from Las Vegas, but I've got four films, three films that are out. And one's called, uh, it's called Killer Priest. And it's about the priest of the pedophiles, if you will. And at the same time, another one of my mom and grandma, or grandma and his wife, and this is her. And the third one is about the Hispanic games and the, uh, the Asian games, and the world's really strong fast. So they all have messages. Yeah. But uh, in Vegas, I produce a lot of television shows. You know, Amen. Hollywood in action, Las Vegas, or San Francisco Sports and Entertainment and whatnot. I think that it's a time to produce television and the rest of it. Amen. But then, have to uh, bring people to make money. So you need you need names, yep. and at the same time, you, you, you need to watch your budget to get your money back, especially if you're doing things on the internet through Netflix. And right, right. Yeah. Well, we're going to be going down to Houston in a few days. We're going to spend a week down in Houston. You're talking about the priests and talking about the We're going to be down there because, as you know, the mayor of Houston uh, issued subpoenas for sermons and, and, and is attacking the priests and the preachers. So we're going down there to do some own location here in Houston. And uh, we're going to be having a good time. Well, I think it's good, and I think this is a time where the world needs to come together more in capacity. And there's no one like, uh, well, it was kind of a TV show that we put together on the 20, 31st of August, honoring my mother who turned on the street. I think people have to learn to slow down and have more compassion towards each other. Amen. And, and we're in a time now that we have to make some changes. And if we don't, things are all going to get worse. And really, people are destroying themselves. I absolutely know that. Thank you, Pete. God bless Thank you. Thank you, Riley. And uh, look, for, look forward to the Riley Drake Show on YouTube. Okay. And uh, we're going to enjoy this tonight. God bless we you. We are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Training day. Nice to meet you, G. All right, all right. I'm uh, with Wiley Drake. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so we're doing a Christian-based show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Where are you from? You from L.A.? Buena Park. Buena Park? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where I'm staying at. Oh, for real? Yeah. You know. That's cool. Just here trying to support our new brother in Christ, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wiley. 
Why? You want to go in this way? You want me to go over here? Yeah, that way we can...
Yeah, I would hate to carry on. Is this is like really high tech piece of. Well, it's got to do with the resolution. I don't know. I don't mind that blue in the background. I think there's some of the negatives of us.
okay? Where's Amanda? She's outside. And by the way, I want to really give a, a... Where's Amanda? Is she there? Okay, Amanda. Well, she's, she's carrying something. She may not be able to stand up, but... She's got my grandson that will be with us uh, very, very shortly. She gave us this little dream, and now we have another one on the way. But I want to thank Amanda and Jason, my son-in-law, who I've been extremely blessed with, who uh, helped to put all of this together tonight. And uh, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. So, Jason and Amanda, thank you so much. Really. Love you guys. My son, Michael Jr., unfortunately, every time we, we get a, a project like this, Mike is involved in something else, but he's been extremely supportive of the film and of me. He's been working with me now, and um, he's not he's in the film at the end. He's not in it too much. He probably dances as well as the girls, but there wasn't a part of it. But, uh, anyway, Mike, where are you? Stand up. And then just briefly, I want to introduce some of the people that made this happen. My uh, executive producer and um, uh, Moshe's son, Sagib Diamant, where are you? Uh, he's here. Sagib, thank you so much. Without you, this doesn't happen. And uh, our two tremendous choreographers, and I really mean that, that have had such a, a powerful impact on my daughter Julia's life. Uh, we love them so much, and, they, and, and uh, Ronnie has been with my girls since they're three years old. And to tell you how much we love her, she is, uh, you know, godmother to my uh, daughter Amanda, and uh, she's really nurtured me. She's family. She's nurtured my uh, my daughter since birth. So we love the, her very much. Honey, stand up. She did a great job. And we'll see what she does in the family. And then we have Shannon Mather. I believe Shannon is here. Very, very talented. We love Shannon. She's done so much with my daughter Julia. And really, stand up, Shannon. Come on. Yeah. And you probably know Shannon, so you think you can dance and a lot of other things. She's, uh, who else? Oh, yeah, and Ed. He's become my favorite guy. Where's Wildebeest? Stand up. Wildebeest is what they call him, but he did a dance video for us that's now going viral. Where is he? Where's Will? Right there. Okay, there he is. Stand up. Will, stand up. Oh, there he is. Okay, I got it. I love him because he's got some gangster in him like me. It's really cool. But he did a great job with the dance video. It's going viral. He finally got it up on his uh, site, and uh, it's doing great. And now I want to introduce to my uh, my composer, uh, David Holden, who i got to tell you this. Wait, wait, wait a second before he, he comes up. Uh, he took this to a level that I never expected and um, did an absolutely amazing job with the music and really thrilled and privileged to have him aboard. And uh, you'll all see that in a few minutes. But Dave, stand up. Really, thank you so much for everything. Extremely yeah. talented. And he has brought two young ladies with him that contributed to the uh, uh, to the composition in some way. I don't know if you. Uh, I don't know your names. I'm sorry. But uh, Stacy, Lacey, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Sandra Violet. Cassandra, okay, stand up. That makes it easy. Thank you so much, really. Just, just to say hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did I miss anybody? Leave anybody out? Did I? I think everybody's here that contributed, right? Who? Oh, Hector's not here. I'm sorry. Yeah, but anyway, Hector is uh, was our photographer who uh, is not here tonight, but he did a great job on the set. And we miss him very much. He couldn't make it tonight, but... Uh, uh, oh, and my advisor, Hendrik Koster, who played a yeah, very, very significant role in the film. The, uh, where are you, Hendrik? Stand up. Okay. Hendrik was giving me, uh, he was giving me a lot of advice on what kind of guns we should use and uh, what kind of bullets we should use. But he's kind of an associate producer on the film. He's really helped me a lot, a lot of consultation. And uh, good job, Hendrik. Thank you very much. And just uh, all of Cammy's family, who I've, uh, I've, they're my own family now, they're all here, I love them all. My brother-in-law, Dino, i got to mention Dino, where are you, Dean? Right there. Stand up, he's been a trooper, he's been with me, stand up wherever you are, Dino. Yeah, you can't miss him, he's got this board now, but I'm trying to get him to show it off, but anyway. Uh, Dino's been with me and supportive of not only me and my family in the film, but uh, just about everything that I've done since I know him, since he's a little kid. And uh, it goes the same for all the brothers. And uh, last but not least, I didn't want to leave him. The one guy, I'll tell you the truth, when I came into the family, I was really concerned on, you know, how they were going to accept me with the mob background, the whole thing. My mother-in-law, God rest her soul, she just prayed for me from the minute that she saw me. And uh, I think uh, it worked because she got me to where I am today. And I was worried about that. But my father-in-law, when he heard I was a gangster, I was in right away. That's all he had to say. <laughs> Stand up, Fred. And 
I'm going to say this. He's been, uh, for the last 30 years, very, very supportive of me and my family, and I really appreciate it, Fred. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the film, and those of you that are making primos come afterwards. God bless. Thank you a lot. Get your fingers up there, you'll bump it off. <laughs> okay, it's going now, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're outside the theater here in Hollywood. We're in a movie, a great movie that Michael Franzisi produced and uh, had to uh, A great movie about the mafia and a great movie about what Jesus can do in a person's life. Uh, somebody want to come over and be on with me and give us your opinion of the movie? Yeah, take Come on over. Come on. <laughs> we're, we're, over. Over. we're live on television. We're just coming out of the movie. Did you see the movie? Yeah. Give us your comment. God the Father, ladies and gentlemen. God the Father. It's an example of what God can do in the life even of a mafioso. All right, anybody else want to on? Come on over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're right outside the theater where we've just seen God the Father. Great movie about mafia. And a great movie about Jesus Christ. Tell us what you thought. Not only am I so proud of you, a family member, but it's just tonight that brought all the news why I'm so proud of you, of part of the family, and at the end, I'm just honored more than I was. The movie has just brought us more of what our family is all about. Okay, you're Michael's mom. I am Michael's Anne Crib, and I am Tammy's godmother, and uh, it's a process putting the family back to life, and knowing that there's and sir, who are you? I'm the uncle. You're the uncle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I told my producer when I got here, we got to get that guy in the camera. Right, right. And you're a good, good, good character for the mafia yeah. movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is good. That is real. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Do you want to be on TV with me? Oh, yeah. TV. TV. Come on over. Yeah. Hurry, 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 hurry. I'm on TV. Okay, you're on TV. All right, you've seen the movie. Tell us what you think about it. Oh, I love it. Very intense. <laughs> You can go over there and see it on the TV. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you want to be on TV? Come here. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, right outside the theater, this beautiful young lady. Did you see the movie? Tell our listening audience. Come on. Tell our listening audience what you think about it. It was an amazing movie. I love it. Are you a member of the family? Yes, I am. Tell us who you are. I am uh, my uncle. Your uncle. Yes. All right. All right. So you're a niece. Yes. Okay. What's your name? Ashley. 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 All right. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank God bless you. you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. We're outside the gym. And, uh, <laughs> Wiley Trey, hey. here he is. How are you doing? Tell, tell our listening audience what you thought about the movie. Oh, Wiley, this is, I'm just so glad that Wiley Drake so cared enough to come on out because you guys are always about exposing the truth. Amen. And, you know, I mean, I've been on your show. Your show's fabulous. The simple fact is that you're, you know, you believe in, in and I tell you this is something that's very important that we're going to know. It's about a man that seen the worst went down to the bottom and now he's now he's preaching the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. My good friend Michael Francis. All right. <laughs> here's here's Kimmy's here dad right over here. Kimmy's dad in here. <laughs> Come over, Dad. Come on. Come on. Tell our listening audience. Come on. Kimmy's dad. 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 Kimmy's dad.
What a great, great movie. Well, it was a great movie. Very inspiring for the youth. It's uplifting for the whole community. Your daughter did a great job. She did a great, great, great job. My daughter also. She got that. She got that. She got that. My daughter. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're just outside the theater where we just watched God the Father. A great movie. A movie that would be, to anyone's estimation, a great movie about the Mafia. And then a great movie about the Lord Jesus Christ and what Jesus can do in the life of an individual. So we thank the Lord for the opportunity to be here. Let's see if we can get somebody else on with us. On with us tonight. We're here, ladies and gentlemen, in Hollywood at the uh, premier engagement of God the Father. Great, great movie. And we encourage you to get part of that movie. Go see that movie. And by the way, I want to give you an incentive. If you go and see the movie, you contact me and you can come on my television show and tell us what you thought about the movie. Call me at 202 747 4839 and let us know what you thought about the movie. And then you can come on. Are we still on? All right. I think, isn't this, huh? Isn't this Tammy here? On the wall? Yeah, the one coming through with the black yeah, that's right there. You want to see if you can grab her? That's him! I'm Wiley Drake. We've already interviewed you before, but uh, we're live on television right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the wife, <laughs> the actress, you did a great job, by the, the way. The dancer. Great, absolutely. The dancer. Yes, and you did great. You did great, absolutely. And, and you, you really did a, a great job. Uh, I am somewhat of an expert. I'm the grandfather. <laughs> uh, I have granddaughters, grandsons in the movie business, and uh, I'm not an actor. Uh, I'm a TV talk show host, and that's what we're on now. But uh, I can spot uh, real uh, actors and actresses, and you did a great job. You did a great job. And uh, I'm going to give you a card. When you get to your computer, you can go up. This will be on the news. Go to thewideandrakeshow.com, and you can watch. God bless you, and have a great time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Michael Franzese's son, Michael yes. Jr. Yes, yes, I saw him earlier. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Franzese's son. First name again, I'm sorry. Michael. Michael, Michael Jr. <laughs> Duh, I am a junior. My name's Wiley Drake, and... Uh, Tell us your feelings. You've been obviously involved in this thing. Uh, you know, up to here with it. But uh, give us your response. I've worked with my dad for a while. Excuse me. It was, it was really cool to see the movie, see the finished product. I mean, I, I've seen pieces, bits and pieces, yeah, and I know the idea of the movie. But to see everything come together and tie together, and, and the music, and you know, God being glorified, I, it's a really special moment for me. And more than anything, I'm just really happy for my dad. He's earned it. Well, amen. He's amen. worked for it. I'm going to give you a card. Here. That's where the show will be on. You can go up uh, later and look at that and see yourself on it. Uh, I do a talk show uh, seven days a week. Uh, I cover everything. <laughs> and uh, I'm a pastor, though. That's my first job. And uh, I was so pleased with this movie. Uh, I see a lot of movies. 
that people say, oh, Pastor, you got to go see this movie. And most of them were good. Like yeah. This is absolutely fantastic. It's a great opportunity. As I said, uh, my kids and grandkids are in the movie business, and I've seen a lot of movies, uh, but uh, I'm not an expert, but I do have almost 70 years of experience as a man in this world. And I want to say this, if you want to see a movie, about the mob. This is a great movie. A great movie about the mob. But even on top of that is it's a great movie about Jesus Christ and what Jesus can do. And uh, we're just praising God for this movie. Folks, I encourage you, I want to give you an incentive. If you go see this movie, you want to come on the Wiley Drake Show, just call me. My, my number and everything will be on the screen. You'll see it. Call me and make an appointment. We'll let you come into the studio and do an interview with you about your experience with the movie. And uh, thank you for watching tonight. And thank you. Thank you, sir. Michael, wait, stay there. I want to get the whole gang together. This is Pete Allman from Celebrity Scene News. Michael Jr., Ike Steele from the TV series Touch from Steel TV. Wiley Drake, as you know, George Anderson from MGM. Let's get a picture. We get a picture. Carol, get in there with the guys if you want. They can take me real quick. I want to get Michael before he goes. Come on, everybody together. Act like you guys are friendly for crying out loud. Not all. Come on, squeeze in. Here we go. I got one of these cheap, crummy cameras, guys. Cameras, cameras, cameras everywhere. Wow. Good. Can I get in here real quick, too? Yeah, come on in. Georgie? Sure. Come on in. All right. Come on in. Okay, right over here. There you go. Here you go. Oh, here you go. Point to the camera. Everybody, yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> the red carpet. Okay. Yes. Yeah. One more. Thank you. Most of them. All right. You're good. Thank you. The first one came out better. Yeah. Thank you, man. I got it. No, I got it. That's all right. Just give me a call. Just give me a call. Okay. George Anderson, I'm Gene. Okay. Come on, George. Let me have you come down here in the studio with us. I'm going to Houston. We're going down there. Well, we're going to Houston on Wednesday night. We're going to be down there for five days. They've arrested five families in Houston and subpoenaed their friends. So we're going down there to stay. We're going to have thousands of prisoners from all over the world in Houston, Texas. You know where about in Houston? Yes, it's going to be a great community church. Go online. Go online and look up this website. I stand country. I stand country. I stand Sunday. I stand Sunday. And you check it out, and you can either come and go with us, or you can call us on the phone. We're going to have a congressional communication line in our private. We're flying. I had to scrape to get mine. I had to go in the middle of the night so I could afford it. But, but put in I stand Sunday. Dot com. And you'll find out about this event. You'll find out what we're going to be doing. We're taking a holy, here's what we're doing. We're taking a holy weekend to Houston on Halloween. And you remember that saying, Houston, you have a problem. Yeah. All right? And uh, we pray for that problem, and that problem is solved. They made it home. Well, Houston has a problem. They're attacking the church. And we're going to play a church. We're going down there. We're going to be there Friday. Oh, I don't, I don't know which church Walking is. Walking the street, praying, and uh, standing. P-R-I-M-O. Finally, everyone's heading over to Primo's Restaurant for the after party. I know you don't want to go. I can't go. I just can't. I've got to get this thing to Houston. I, I gotta get home. Okay. I got a million things I gotta do. I got a 4:30 appointment in the morning. Wow. And so I gotta be up late. Let's take a picture of Wiley Drake. Oh.
Michael, okay, he can't. He's got to catch a flight to Houston. Finally, great. Good to see you. God bless you. Thank you. Let's keep in touch. Let me, uh, 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 Thank you. Uh, just go for it. I stand sunny. I stand sunny. You're going to see we're going to have thousands of people from all over the world in Houston because the mayor issued subpoenas for the sermons of five pastors. And, and so we're going down there to say enough is enough. We can't do that anymore. I'd love to join you. So I'll be trusting you. And we'll have you. I'll tell you what, if you'll call me, we'll, we'll hook you up on the communication line. Just call me on that breaking news phone number. And we'll have you. When we're in Houston, we'll call you. Okay? God bless you. We'll be in touch. We're doing it. Have you heard it? Absolutely. I told right. him, I said, look, my, my kids and grandkids are in the movie. Dave, you're hiding from me. I grew up in California. I know a little bit. I'm not an expert, but I'm 70 years old with a little experience. And I'm here to tell you, I've seen a lot of movies that are good about the mafia, a lot of movies that are good about people. But this is the best combination I've ever seen. That it says it's a good movie about Pope the Mob. And it's actually fully defunct. It tells the truth. But it also, and it's not just a, you know, the Jesus thing's not just tacked on. It's there to very integral point. Very, very good movie. It's going to be a great movie. It's going to be a great movie. Very, very good movie. We're good. God bless you. All right. I think we're going to wrap, folks, and say that's enough for tonight. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 430. We'll be on the prayer line. We'll be up with you in the morning. God bless you. Good night. And God bless you.